How are you this morning? Very well, Emer. Delighted to be here, and it's wonderful to see such a, a selection of fantastic businesses in Carlo. Now, you're a huge supporter of the Carlo Business Awards, Edmund, as well. You're very aware of what's going on on the ground. Yes, I suppose my role is to work with enterprise and industry around Carlo to, to help them engage with the education and training providers that are here uh, available to them. So it's to support industry to train and upskill their staff. Right, and hearing some of the stories, like earlier when I was talking to DPF and Carlo Toolmaking, as a local, it just makes me very proud that we grew these uh, indigenous, they started small, um, and look at what they're doing now on global markets. Yes, indeed. Th these are world-class local companies, no doubt about it. They're competing at the highest level, the standards. But one thing I notice with these companies, and I've had a nice bit of contact with them, they're committed to developing their staff. They're focused on upskilling, training, best practice. They're a real commitment to excellence, and I think that's really the key to it. They sure do, because I know Pat Amond um, is a massive supporter of the Apprenticeships Program, um, and Gabrielle is here as well from the ETB. Apprenticeships are finally getting the recognition that they deserve. I know the Higher Education Minister, Simon Harris, always mentions apprenticeship programs to me when he's on KCLR, Gabrielle. Good morning, Emer. Yeah, we're delighted with uh, the Kenny and Carlo Education and Training Board. We have uh, a, a vast uh, variety of apprenticeships that are on offer. Um, Particularly here in Carlo, we are we have you know lots of tool making apprenticeships, um, and we recently had our apprenticeship award that we hosted uh, on behalf on regionally where over three hundred people um, were gra graduated um, as with their apprenticeships. So um, we are I suppose we work with further education and training solutions for business um, is a service that we offer to local businesses, and we're delighted to see so many businesses that we know here today. And as Edmund says, the key to the excellence is is that investment in the staff and it's that investment um, in, in people's careers within their business um, and investing in staff and upskilling in order to you know, achieve the business's aims. So really, I suppose we're a local, um, we're the arm here for, we provide government funded training for local businesses. Right, and having um, the mix of apprenticeships, third level education, and not just third level education, but university education in Carlow, um, is a game changer that we're talking now about it being um, such a part of everything. And in terms of recruitment, there are so many challenges getting good staff. So we need a pipeline all the time. Um, Owen is with me from the SETU. Good morning. How are you? Good. And you? I'm great. And tell me about how you see your role as regards the relationships that you have, the strategic relationships with these local companies. Yeah, so I suppose very similar to, to Edmund and Gabriella, we used to work very closely with local enterprise. I think Connell mentioned that we're part of a, a greater ecosystem. And I suppose our success as an entity is very much dependent on the success of local companies. And I suppose within the Faculty of Lifelong Learning in SCTU Carlo, we recognize skill deficits in, in, in two ways. One is through the expert group on future skill needs, which is probably more of a national picture. But the other way we do it is by working closely with the likes of Edmund um, to develop programs uh, that are suited and geared towards local industry. So, for example, John Purcell mentioned uh, KCLR being established in 2004 um, and, and the change that your sector has undergone. So this year, or last year, we developed a new program, uh, higher diploma in journalism and new media content, um, which we've rolled out. And again, it's to address that, that evolving sense of your sector and that's what we try and do across all sectors is listen to the employers, listen, try and identify where the skill gaps are appearing and then try and develop programs that are suited to the, to the employer and to the employee. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for that. It's great to hear from the SETU and the ETB here this morning and also Southeast Regional Skills. We're live from the, I was about to say the Dolmen, the beautiful Lord Bagnell Inn this morning. That's what happens when you're looking at a camera and you're used to the radio. Um,